right, and we're back for part two. Okay. Alright. Of course, with the holiday season here, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, it came by pretty fast, I think. Uh, well, it is here. Today is actually Thursday, December 25th, 2008. And like I say, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, hopefully everybody's having a good time, you know, opening up presents and whatnot. Uh, but I picked a couple. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, of movies, holiday movies out there. A lot to choose from. And if you want to check out uh, a uh, great Christmas update or, or, or review of, of uh, a few classics that uh, uh, that you just put out, and I think I'll put it on the sidebar. Uh, Sean McLean, the guy that I was mentioned about before, a.k.a. Zarin Isaac, uh, YouTube.com slash Zarin Isaac, he did a, a Christmas update of, uh, uh, of just of just uh, five of his favorite holiday movies that he that he recommends. I mean, he has a, a buttload of movies, of course, no matter what. And the five movies that he put together were, weren't just his only favorites, but these are five that he really thought were would fit the mold, and they definitely did. And a few that he has in his collection, I actually have in mind as well. And I won't give anything away. You gotta check out his video, and I will put it on the sidebar, or, or the link anyway to his video. Uh, uh, on the side. But anyway, uh, I picked out a couple uh, movies that I thought were, were perfect, were, were good enough for a review. Uh, one I have not seen, and one I have. One that's more, it's not so much a Christmas movie, but it's like a, a way to kick off the holidays. It's like a Thanksgiving movie. <clears throat> and uh, I tell you this, in one of Shane Jensen's uh, latest uh, uh, his Christmas video, he actually receives his the, the DVD I'm talking about <coughs> in uh, or in, in his latest video, he actually receives a, a, a copy of the movie I'm going to be talking about. Uh, anyway, I don't think I'll put that in the sidebar too. But anyway, uh, the movie that I'm talking about, the first one I have not seen, and I was thinking about checking it out <coughs> oh, a little bit later. All I want for Christmas. It's from 1991. It stars Leslie Nielsen. Of course, he's Santa Claus. Uh, Harley Jane Kozak. Uh, Jamie Sher Sheridan. And, of course, Kevin Nealon and Ethan Randall. And it's from 1991. And it's from Paramount. And there are no special features to this either. It's just, uh, I bought this DVD back. Oh, what did I <coughs> Where did I get, get this one here? Uh, got this back here a few years ago, anyway. And for some reason, I have not, I have not watched it yet. So, uh, I figure, well, why not? You know, check it out. It's a Christmas movie. All I want for Christmas. It's a classic. I know that for a fact. It even re received a film advisory board. It was an award winner. Award for. Of excellence uh, award for the film advisory board back in the day, so it's definitely a hit, <coughs> and so I recommend you check this out. And the other movie um, that I was going to talk about: Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Now, this this is the movie that uh, Shane Jensen received in his uh, Christmas video from from a friend. Or I think from a friend's kid or something like that. It's friend Alex's kid. I'm not too sure. I don't really know much about the guy except to know who he hangs out with or whatever. But anyway, uh, this is a great Thanksgiving movie as far as, you know, uh, well, as a way to kick out the holidays. And C. Martin, John Candy do a great job. It's a Neil Savage classic. Planes, trains. Animals. Words can't really describe how you know <clears throat> how how this movie you know feeds feeds the holiday span I guess or holiday attention, but uh, it pretty much uh, what sums it up to is C. Martin's character, which is Neil Page, uh, is a advertiser, and he 
<clears throat> what he does is he advertises for I don't I don't like I think like Bali Agency or Global Light or something. I think it's Bali Agency. I'm not too sure. But anyway, he he it's a it's Thanksgiving and he he lives in Chicago. You know, his family lives in Chicago and his job is in New York and uh, so he has to fly all the way home and everything goes great until well first of all the meeting happens to be a little late so he, he tries to rush 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 to get to the airport and then you know tries to get a cab and of course around the holidays or pretty much I think any time in New York City it's hard to get a cab you know no matter how you how you sum it up I don't know I've never been there but uh, anyway uh, long story short, he runs into John Candy's character, not only in the in the cab scene, but in the airport, and that pretty much uh, starts the story. It's a great movie. It's a movie entitled "What Would Be What Would Sum It Up to Be Every Traveler's Nightmare in a Comic Come True." It's like you know, like a, a you know, and I don't keep talking about story of Oregon, but it's like something I hope would have happened. I mean, I'm glad it did happen, but. If it would have happened, I would have happily accepted it, of course. Uh, you know, to, to run into a, a couple of problems here along the way. You know, like I, I drove a train. Luckily, the train never broke down. But they they use planes, trains, and automobiles as a way to get... John Candy wants to get uh, Steve Martin home for Thanksgiving to spend the holidays with his family. And it almost doesn't happen. But they run into a lot of bumps and bruises here along the way, and with a wonderful ca cast of characters that some people that you would recognize, uh, some that you know were just up and coming stars or not even big stars at the time until they until later on uh, as the years progress. But it's from 1987, and it's a very good movie, planes, trains, and automobiles. So anyway, when we come back, and I'm gonna go get a cough drop. When we come back. Part three, the final part of my DVD rant, uh, we will talk about a few movies that I have in my collection that uh, are part of my little vault. So we'll be right back with part, with the final part of Frankie's DVD rant. <laughs> 